I'm Bottles. I'm Pete. And welcome back to Dream Daddy, the Daddy Dating Simulator. Today we're doing Robert. <laughs> what was that? Were you belly dancing? Into it. When the internet gains sen sentience and decides to destroy us all, you know it'll use this information against us, right? You know that sounds like the fucking paranoid ramblings of John Terravolta. On a Friday night, you are most likely to make a deal in an alleyway. Have it go badly. Who's the cop? Who's the Giacomo? I trusted Giacomo. What? The fuck are you talking about? If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert, desert island, what would it be? Gun! What are your turn-ons? Don't talk to me. What did you want to be when you grew up? Grifter. What's your favorite movie genre? Italian neorealism. What's your ideal date? Grave robbing. I mean, ours is arson, so can we really, <laughs> can we really talk? What do you never leave home without? At least four knives. That's a little concerning. John, are you okay? Who hurt you? <laughs> I, s <laughs> I spent a lot of time thinking about... You ever really look into a rabbit animal's eyes? No, not particularly. Not really my my cup of tea when it comes to hobbies. How is Maury still sleeping through this? He's probably waking up at times and just ignoring us. <laughs> His last name is Small. Robert Small. It has nothing to do with my penis. It has everything to do with my heart. <laughs> nothing can beat reading in Which is good, because if it was too big, I'd die. Yeah. That's gigantism. He, 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 he. Robert was pretty nice. A little odd, but nice and ruggedly handsome. We should hang out. I type out a message to him on Dad Book. Hey, Robert. Good seeing you again at the cookout. Want to grab a drink? I sit there for a couple seconds, hoping he'll message me back. <coughs> Hey, it says that he read my message. I anxiously uh, wait for this a response. Is, this is reminding me of uh, <laughs> real life. <laughs> what should we do? Watch cat videos on the internet or twiddle our thumbs? Watch cat videos on the internet. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it solves everything. Mm, twiddle our diddles. <laughs> I start down a rabbit hole of cat videos and Robert quickly vanishes from my mind. That's the date. A plus. I didn't realize how long I've been doing this, but my time... But by the time I watch maybe my 30th cat video, Robert pops back into my head. I jump back over to Dadbook to see if he's responded yet. Nothing. Yep. I guess the guy's busy. True to life. <laughs> I might as well make the best of my day. We're basically like the one night stand. You know, we fuck him and then we're like, hey, you awake? <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you're in bed next to him, you're texting him. Hey, you awake? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I get up, walk to the living room, then sit down and turn on the TV. Hmm. Game show. Oh, we gotta go game show. Hell yeah. Ooh, Family Fortune's on. Oh, but you got it? Uh, sure. I mean, I'll do it. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, Nicole, your parents are in the lead, and it's up to you to win it big. Are you ready? I'm ready! That sounds like Daisy. That's they, why I picked that voice, by the way. They hooked the contestant up to a lie detector in front of her parents. This was a real show. Who is your favorite parent? Uh, my m mom. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> Incorrect. Next question! Wait, <laughs> I get that the show is like, you know, it's supposed to go along with what the lie detector says your real answer is, but it's just like, Who's your favorite parent? My mom? G incorrect! Oh. Well. Alright. If both of your parents were hanging off the edge of a cliff, which would you save? Ah! Uh, this is terrible. I love it. <laughs> I lose several hours to work. kind of reminds me of Jess at times. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I lose several hours to whatever the hell that was. Sighing, I get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. Time for lunch. Uh, well, I guess it's time for the old Chef Dad 9 to cook a gourmet delicacy. 
I walk over to the fridge and open the door. Hmm. Mustard. A literal mustard <laughs> jar. Now it's just Juan again. Hey Juan, what do you want to drink? Creamer. <laughs> you know creamer? I gave him creamer yes, once. Yes, I know. I was there. Where are you? Yeah, let's make a sandwich. I make a sandwich in its entirety, well... How do you make a sandwich not in its entirety? You forget the bread? Bread, lettuce, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's it. Is this a sandwich or a salad? Two salads. <laughs> Here's your salads. Who needs plates? A sandwich. Oh, I'll start. I admire my work for a second before I clumsily drop the entire thing on the floor. <laughs> work up, you're a mess. No! No! Throw that game over again. I look around and remember that Amanda's not home. This is still good. Five second rule, right? I reassemble my sandwich, peeling pickles off the floor and putting them back where they belong. In my mouth. Wait. I am a wreck. I finish my snack and walk around the house some more. Bored. When's Amanda coming home? Oh! I just remembered something! I had to pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> She's been waiting for me for hours. Or days. <laughs> when we were packing up the old house, we found an old basketball hoop that would hang off a door. It would really bring the living room together. I wonder where I put that. I spend a couple of minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing it above one of the doors in the living room, I'm ready to dunk. Come on and slam. If you are a jam, come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. I take a leap from the free throw line and rocket that sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild. And welcome to the jam. I pull up from the three-point line, breaking ankles and sinking a fadeaway. And I forgot the rest of the words to this song. Everyone does. Yep. <laughs> All they know is, come on and slam if you want to jam, and also, uh, work that body, work that body, hope that you don't hurt nobody. No look behind the back hook shot. Everyone's on their feet. Something, something, space jam. <laughs> I managed to just barely defeat myself at horse before Amanda comes home. Then we cook dinner together. We're proud of ourselves and we're not even coming close to burning down the house. So is this just our date with Robert? Is yeah. that he just doesn't reply? He just doesn't reply. Afterward, Amanda and I dig into a carton of ice cream over an episode of Chop Toddler Tournament. I'd watch it. Get rid of the coal and just chop the toddlers. <laughs> Chopping the toddlers. <laughs> Or move the colon. Do you want to Chop be the, toddler. Do you want to be the toddler? What are you have in front of you is a molecularly deconstructed <laughs> sweet potato <laughs> with a brown sugar dummy glaze with a cream phrase, of course. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. This is literally a jaw of baby food. Oh, so you go on TV? <laughs> the toddler immediately bursts into tears. <laughs> Are we bad people for watching this? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> After a few more episodes, Amanda goes to bed. I check my computer one last time. Still nothing from Robert. But it says he read my message. Is he ignoring me? True to life. <laughs> Eventually, I climb into bed to get some rest, but I just can't stop wondering why Robert won't message me back. Tell, Are we going to play a game I'm about being about lonely? lonely? Date complete. Dad, what the fuck? What'd you get? C How do I get a C? I didn't even get a chance! <laughs> Automotive care, look at that. You got really good on. <laughs> what was that? That wasn't even enough to fill apart! Can, can we do another one of me? Because I didn't get to do anything. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That does fill apart. I'm bottles. I'm Pete. See you later. <laughs> Can we do another me character? Yeah. I didn't get any lines. I got like two. I got the one. I got reading the description. <laughs>